Hey, que lo que mi gente, what's up, it's your girl, Nikki Sparks, welcome back to my channel. So today, this is going to be a get ready with me, where I spill all the tea on how I got hired at MAC Cosmetics in Paris. So let me just get right into it. So, um, I'm gonna, I already moisturized my face, so now I'm going to use a primer. This primer is the Radiance Primer from NARS. It's almost finished, it's almost done. So, um, I'm gonna tell you guys a little story first before I jump into how I got hired. So, I was working as a receptionist in Paris and I was already good on make. I was already good with makeup, but um, my insecurities, I wasn't like, I wasn't believing in myself enough, so I thought that I needed a makeup school. So I went, I did a one month beauty and fashion course um, with Makeup Forever Academy in Paris. And as soon as I found out, I, was, I got pregnant right before the session started and I quit my job. As soon as I found out I was, I was pregnant, I quit my job because I hated the job. I do not like the job of a receptionist, like dealing with people in that matter, I hate it. So I quit my job. Then I was supposed to start in September, but the morning sickness was so, so harsh on me that I couldn't. I had to go to the school and ask them to give me another session. And they was kind enough to give me the session to put me for the for the session they had um a session in september one in november so instead of going on the september that i which i paid for um when my boyfriend paid for it he did that as a gift for me um and then i went to the november session and i run the, it was so ironic because I was the only I wasn't the only one pregnant in that session is like God didn't want me to feel with, like alone um so it was three pregnant women me and the other one we had the same months we had four months and the other one she had like seven months and it was it was it was a nice experience so fast forward I was a stay-at-home mom and I was just home with my baby happy everything and I had no idea what was going to be my next step. All I knew is that I wanted to work with Mac. But I didn't know how. I wasn't feeling like every time I would pass in front of a Mac counter, I would always feel intimidated by the girls who worked at Mac. And I was like, oh, I don't think I could never be like these girls. They look so flawless and, and everything. So, okay. The foundation I'm using is Mac Studio. Studio Fix Fluid and NC44. So like I was saying, I always saw these girls, these MAC girls so intimidating. Always with some bold um, makeup on and everything. And I wanted to be like that, but I was, I was afraid. I don't know what I was afraid of, but I was afraid of being rejected. <laughs> so... I was afraid of being rejected because I wasn't, I wasn't seeing myself as a MAC girl. And then um, I was at MAC buying stuff because I was always buying MAC stuff, MAC products. And I saw they had a, they had like a little, like a little post um, by the cashier, by the cashier. And it was saying that they were looking for makeup artists. And I took a picture of it one time. And I and I it took me like a couple months before I sent my resume, my res, my CV and let the motivation my resume. It took me several months to send it. Um, and it was kind of complicated because I live I lived 30 minutes away from Paris. It doesn't sound too far, but when you're a mother, you don't want to work 30 minutes away from your baby. So the, well, that was one of the reasons why. Oh, by the way, this is a real techniques um, sponge. So um, I didn't want to work away so far from my baby, a first time mom. So yeah, and that's why it took me several months to send my resume. And then I don't know if it's I, I I'm more than sure it was God. <laughs> 
they opened a Mac store. So I was, they opened a Mac store in December. Remember December? Like at one stop away from my home. And I was like, yes, this is the moment. So I sent my resume and they sent me a, they sent the answer the first time they didn't answer. And my mom was like, don't give up. I sent back again a other resume, like I modify it, everything, put some, and, and, I, and I sent some pictures of makeup that I did on myself, etc., etc. Um, they responded and they was like, uh, how they said? They said it in French, obviously. <laughs> um, so they was like, thank you for, merci de postuler, merci d'avoir postulé, mais. Uh, we are not we are not interested at the moment i was devastated i even shed one or two tears and i remember the 31st of december the 31st of december i was at my man's job doing makeup on his colleagues because they were going to they was going to celebrate the new year's in the restaurant that he was working in in the champs elysees the champs elysees for new year's is a big thing so um so i was over there with my baby i was doing makeup you know like hustling and stuff like that and and then i went back home because my man was going to work the 31st i was gonna well, me and my daughter was gonna pass new year's by ourselves at home so i went back home before the street started getting crazy full of people and stuff like that and i was home and i was like no, first I went to the to the Mac counter that was close to my home with my with my with my child's godfather because he wanted to buy some gift for his girlfriend at the time. And one of the workers there that became a good friend of mine, I asked her what do I need to do to get in in Mac? She told me, be yourself, your resume needs to be unique and your resume needs to look like you. Like and I went back home. And, the, and then a week after, that's when it was the 31st of, you know, of December, I went home and I sat down, I put my child, I put my daughter to sleep, I put my daughter to sleep and I sat down by myself and I redo my resume and I sent it the 31st of December. The set, the third, the third of December, I received an email telling me that they are interested and that they, they would like me to come in to, for, to do an interview. Oh my god, the best day of my life. <laughs> I was so happy. Oh my god. I was so happy and it was the best day of the starting of 2017. Like the 2017 for me started so good. And then I went in, I did my interview, um, it was very, I spoke English, I spoke French, and I told them I could speak Spanish. So um, to get hired at Mac, they, you, you, must know the, you must know the brand history. They asked me about the brand history. Luckily, um, I was a big fan of the brand, so I already knew. A little bit of the history I did some research I had no idea about the Viva Glam so I learned about the Viva Glam you know that they did with RuPaul they did a lot of um, Viva Glam collabs Viva Glam is lipstick that they do and they contribute um, all the money all the money from all the sales that they get from these lipsticks they they give it away to they give it away as charity to a association that that is looking for AIDS um, cure, so they contribute for that. They also asked me if I don't mind wearing all type of makeup and colors and stuff like that because you know there are some makeup artists that love to do makeup on people, but they hate to wear makeup on like they don't they they all about soft makeup soft makeup on their self. They're not these like like me example i love to wear makeup and i love to do makeup on people so they asked me all of that they also asked me about viva glam they asked me about the history of mac who founded funding mac if oh if 
um, it was a problem for me to sell products because they told me you're going to be a ma your makeup artist but working with us you will have to sell products because there are some makeup artists that hate selling they are more there for the artistic part of the job but unfortunately we need to sell as well well not unfortunately but unfortunately for the artists who don't like to be selling um so yeah they asked me that they asked me a bunch out of questions and a couple days later like couple days it was so quick couple days later they called me in to do a makeup test so i had to do a makeup test the makeup test was consistent i told i told my i told a friend Rhea, shout out to Rhea if you watch if you pass if you watch this video she came with me i had to bring in my model and everything was about hygiene like your makeup could have looked bomb but if you didn't disinfect your pencil your brushes everything you would have been eliminated like hygiene is everything for them so i make sure that my research so i knew they was going to ask for that so i make sure everything was clean and i would make sure that they're seeing me cleaning the example the eye pencil or the lip pencil with alcohol like i was just intact like i was ready to get that job because that was the job i wanted so i give my all and they asked me to do a 10 minute makeup including lips so i did it quick um, my friend had told me already what was her foundation shade <laughs> so i already knew the foundation shade and it went really quick the one that took me the most time was the lip because i wanted it to look perfect um, it was a red lip and then after the makeup test they asked me more questions like another mini interview and a couple days later like if i don't let me just do my eyebrows because if i keep on talking i'm not going to do my makeup properly <laughs> So, a couple days later, they called me to tell me that they I got hired, I was happy, I was jumping up and down, I was like, ah, happy, extremely happy. So now, this is where it, get this is where it got interesting, because the, so that's just to tell y'all that God, when God opens doors for you, ain't nobody can shut them down, what's for you is going to always be for you and this is this is how i learned god when something is for you is for you the boutique that had opened right right um like 10 minutes away from my home they already had the, the staff was already like they didn't need any more people like there were five girls and the manager so they were more than enough two of the girls got fired for stealing i think i don't know two of the girls got fired and that's how I got that's how I got the opportunity to get hired close to my home so I could be closer to my baby and that was exactly that I wanted so God when I tell y'all God know what he's doing at the time when they told me no they didn't need nobody like they wasn't interested the boutique wasn't open yet the boutique wasn't open they already had their people their people that they was going to hire so and just like out of like magic the two girls got fired and then boom i got hired and that's how my journey started with mac so here i'm using nars cosmetic concealer and color caramel and the experience was very very rich like the colleagues that i had they was very nice to me they taught me a lot of stuff and what i liked about mac is that the artists them we would like help each other teach each other techniques like if i knew something if i could have helped if i if i knew how to if i had a technique to make to do an eyeliner on a client easier i would tell my colleague if she had a better technique like it was the best the best experience that i had i can't say that it wasn't 
I learned so much. If today I can find foundation shade like this, it's cause of MAC because we would get so many um, clients in a day to find, to find their foundation shade. And that helped me a lot. Lipstick too, like I know how to apply lipstick very easily and fast. Eyelashes too, like I could apply lashes in less than 10 minutes. Like all of that I learned through experience with MAC experimenting on clients experimenting on myself so yeah it was a great experience i can't regret it i wasn't permanent right away like i had small contracts and i worked in many many um little little mac contours in paris and it boosted it boosted my confidence as well like i wasn't confident I, co I wasn't confident in my craft at all that boosted my confidence in the places that i worked and uh, i worked in le marais i worked in saint michel like next to the big cathedral that got burned i worked in um, in many many stores in in, in paris and they used and it was a rich experience um, due to the fact too that I speak three languages I speak Spanish English and French so they loved that prime my lid I did the first eye out, out of cap of camera because I said the most at the beginning of the video um, I'm gonna prime my lid with Tarte Cosmetics concealer blend all of it out then i'm gonna set my brow bone with some translucent powder so the colors don't go all the way by my brow bone so first i'm going to take the subculture palette from anastasia beverly hills and i'm using the color new wave this nice orangey color and i'm just swiping left to right then i'm gonna use all star this nice burgundy right beneath the first color voila then I'm gonna take back the brush to smooth out the edges so yeah it was a nice experience um, then I'm gonna take row dry this one and I'm gonna apply it right here on the corner then I'm gonna cut the crease Then I'm going to take the Inglot Gel Liner, the 77. So, like I was saying, it's a, it was a great experience. But then I had to... But then I had to quit my job. Like two years later, I had to quit my job because i had to take care of my of my baby girl she had problem eating and the the person who was taking care of her which was a paternal grandmother wasn't really doing a good job and so i was like no job alive is more important than my daughter i loved it's like i love my job but i love my daughter way more so i chose my daughter over everything so now i'm a stay at home mom doing youtube full time and i really hope that my channel will grow so i can actually work from home and that's one of my wish so i could work from home and take care of my baby the right way okay so now that we are done with the eyes we are going to the face um i'm gonna use concealer uh i'm gonna use the born this way concealer if you're hearing any noise is my daughter she is in my filming room right now so let's use this concealer i love this concealer actually i can't wait to try the foundation because the concealer is bomb and the color that i'm using is the color sand so i chose my daughter they wasn't too happy about it but they was they wasn't um making it any easier for me um i would start i had First, I put my full-time job into part-time. I asked them to give me a part-time contract. They accepted. 
and I was working part time so I would usually start work like 1 p.m. 2 p.m. and finish 8 30 9 30 and I would reach home around 10 o'clock at night and I would reach home around 10 o'clock so I wasn't really spending time with my daughter so I wasn't really spending time with my daughter and all that played into me quitting my job and they wasn't helping at all I asked them since I was half part-time if I couldn't get the morning hours it was like no um, the part-time we we reserve it for the afternoon and I was like well if you knew that why are you accepted me being on freaking um, part-time it makes any it don't make any sense so that got me pissed off so I decided to move state like literally like I moved from Paris now I'm on the east side of France close to Germany close to Switzerland and I am uh, 15 minutes away from my mom with my little brothers I have my family here so it wasn't really a big loss because I'm close to my family my daughter got, is getting all the love from her family who actually love her her school is like two minutes away from my home like we are good now can't complain I'm not working but I'm good I'm not working like for someone else I'm trying to work for myself here on YouTube so that's one of the reasons I had to quit um, first I had some regrets but now looking back it's the best thing I did because Paris life is very stressful I wasn't spending time with my daughter, me and my mom wasn't really spending time together neither because he was working a lot too, I was working a lot too. Now we are getting along which much, way much better and if you saw my video about mental health you know that the you would, you know that it maybe it wasn't that easy because I was dealing with some mental issues with some depression, mood disorder so I recommend you to check that video out. I'll leave the link on the screen so plus the stress the Paris stress um, it was it was taken a toll in our little family so here I'm setting with Fenty Beauty banana powder but now we are good thank God can't complain we are good so now I'm going to contour with LA Pro, the LA Pro Concealer and Espresso. Just a little bit because my face is already slim. This is just to add in some color. My forehead now, my forehead is gonna contour. Big forehead, which I don't complain. I don't complain about my forehead, not anymore before I used to <laughs> and I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the same powder and I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty bronzer and color private island to set my contour and the fact that I could have quit my job and be a stay-at-home mom I'm very grateful for that and all of that is thanks to my baby daddy my man He's a very responsible man, very responsible father. Because of him, I actually have the luxury to be at home with my child, to pick up from school every day, be with her. Even though she drives me crazy, um, I'd rather be with my child where, she's, where I know that she is taken care, she is well taken care of. He made a big sacrifice as well by leaving his good job. Not that he has a bad job right now, but the job that he had was a very good job he sacrificed that as well for his daughter and we moved from state we moved to another state completely and start a new journey and i'm excited to i'm excited to find out and to experience this new journey at first it was very hard because here it's smaller we was already accustomed to the big city he had like eight years live he lived in Paris for like nine years so living in a small city is kind of hard when you're used to the fast life and everything being open late 
etc etc but we are good we are good estamos bien i'm gonna take mac raisin blush so yeah um so this just to say i made this video also just to say don't give up on something you really want i didn't give up and i got the job and when god has something for you no man can take it away from you like i was like the example like when the two girls got fired um maybe it were dead maybe they got fired because god made well it's not good that they got fired but in a way it's like god made the way for me to get that job close to my house that's how i see it the other girls they didn't deserve that that opportunity because you got the opportunity and you started stealing from the company so me now i would i was crazy i was dying to get into mac i got I, I i feel like i was more deserving of that opportunity because i would never do such thing to a job that i really appreciate that i really wanted just saying i'm not judging but i'm just saying It's like the saying, um, a man's treasure, a man's, a man's garbage is another man's treasure. So for them, the job wasn't maybe, they wasn't appreciating the job. And for me, it was everything. So God was like, oops, go get another job. Bye bye. Let me put Nicole in the spot. <laughs> Ay. So never give up never give up that's why i haven't give up on youtube because i know that this is where i want to be now and yeah i got new goals and youtube is one of them so here i'm using the mac cosmetic cork with the lipstick uh best of me Oh, I forgot to mention the gloss. <laughs> the gloss is from MAC as well and the name is See Through. And on my lower lash, I'm gonna take MAC on the current, um, on the current liner. Put it in my waterline. So thank you guys for watching. So this was the Get Ready With Me video. I hope you liked it. I hope you like this makeup look because I love it. I love me some neutral look on my eye on my eye and some colors on the lower lash line. Thank you guys for being here with me. See you on my next video. Bye. Ah. <laughs>